This is just a video now, a little bit of a rant, talking about these videos that you see on YouTube that are kind of misleading sometimes, misinformed, and I believe that they're made by people that don't really know a lot about locks. So, I've seen videos where they take their their lock, their padlock, you know, normally they're cheap locks, like this one with its huge toler no, lack of tolerances. And they say, oh, you can open the lock with a battery. And what they do is they cut this outer skin of the battery off and shape it into a shim and shim it. And yes, it works. However, they don't say that it doesn't work on all locks. And that's why we're going to talk about that today. Now, that technique with a soda can or a battery or whatever might work on a lock like this with its spring-loaded locking bars and its bad tolerances but people relax there's so many people in the comments they're like oh there goes the security what's the point of uh, using a padlock now if, you, if you've shown all the thieves how to shim open a lock and blah 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 well relax people relax take a step back and take it into context right this this is a cheaper lock Okay, it's not a high security lock, it's got locking bars. So you can shim this, you can bypass this, you can rake it, you can comb it. It's not a high security lock. If you want a high security lock, one that actually has the ability to, believe it or not, stop a shim from actually opening the shackle via the top here by shimming, you can use something like this. Here's a a high security lock here. It's a chub. Yes, it's got some similar look and tolerances. However, these are nothing alike. Okay. This one, it uses ball bearings. Ball bearings cannot be pushed out the way because they're not spring loaded. At least this one it's not. This one here, it has locking bars as I've said a hundred times. Those are spring loaded. These are not. Okay. Let's get another example. Here's another lock. This Hugo here. It has ball bearings. You cannot shim this open. Maybe you don't have a Hugo lock available. Maybe you're in the States. Well, here's an American, and guess what, it can't be shimmed, it has ball bearings. Here's a lock that can be shimmed, a master lock, no surprise that it's cheap. Here we have a uh, Abus. Again, tolerances a little bit tighter. 50/50, you might shim it. 50/50, you might not, because it is spring loaded. It all depends on the tolerances as well. Sometimes they are locks with spring loaded bars, but you cannot shim them because, like this one, the tolerances are too tight. To Yale. However, there are cheap locks that cannot be shimmed too. Alright, like this little Chinese detainer, it has ball bearings, so guess what? It won't be shimmed. I think you get the picture. Not all locks can be shimmed. So relax, don't let those clickbait videos fool you into thinking that every single lock is going to be opened with a shim or a soda can or a battery or whatever other garbage they, feed down, they try and feed you. Sometimes there are much quicker ways than what they show you anyway, such as a knife tool. Sometimes it's not just not practical to go and make a crappy soda can 
shim and think that it's going to work on a lock because surprise surprise when the lock has been out in the weather it's not going to be as easy should we say to shim so if you lose your keys to your padlock and it's been outside there's a chance that your soda can shim it's just going to break on you because sometimes even the best shims they can't open a weathered padlock and guess what yes there are more locks that just cannot be shimmed because of their design this is a lever lock it has a bolt inside there that has to be moved out of the way by the key cannot shim that it's not a high security lock not many people pick those So I think you get the picture here. Don't believe those clickbait videos that say you can open a lock, you've lost your keys, you open a lock with a soda can, a homemade pick gun or whatever, paper clips, wrenches, it'll open every single little padlock. Remember, not all locks are made the same. Okay, so wrenches. Wrenches won't work on every lock. Just like uh, bolt cutters will not work on every lock. Yeah, it's all about educating yourself, taking things into context. But the rule of thumb, rule of thumb is, for most locks, the less you pay to get that lock, the more likely there are more ways to exploit it for more ways to open the lock without a key so don't complain about locks being <sighs> locks being easy to open now because the thieves they all know how to shim open padlocks and whatever you educate yourself just educate yourself on what is actually high security because those lock manufacturers, not all of them are honest. They're going to lie. They're going to say that their product is a high security lock. When it really isn't. So, the more you know, the less hassle you're going to have. So, with all that said and done, um, yeah. If you're watching those videos on how to open a padlock most of the times those are cheap crappy locks so just take it into context <laughs>